we feel energized by the presence of our honorable treasurer of chaitanya shiksha samiti parent body of iper group of institutions shri narendra kumar sir someone who sees potential when others could see only problems so is a sculptor of human character a visionary leader hardcore discipliner and has played a very prominent role in the development of this educational institution his inspiration and vision is guiding us to climb new heights in the field of education it's my honor to welcome and request shri narendra kumar sir to share his wisdom and inspire all of us with his significant words a very good morning to all of you a very warm welcome to dr atul mehta senior vice president raise up uh, mr anirudh chauhan a regular guest with us from cii director cii shri r k sadwani secretary chaitanya shiksha samiti our very own uh, dr khalsa group director iper esteemed faculty members and dear budding managers iper as you know uh, it has been 27 years more than uh, you know 27 years now and uh, we started with a mission to start a premier management institute in in the country and i'm proud to say that uh, we are still dedicated to the mission and uh, there have been difficulties there have been challenges but it has been a very enriching journey for us so far now uh, for a institute to survive 27 years consistently giving good results uh, if you ask me what is the what is the reason behind it i would say the backbone of piper is the culture of learning that we have managed to establish and uh, it's all thanks to the faculty members uh, they have contributed significantly the wisdom of our guests regularly and uh, the achievements of our alumni that has made iper what it is and as you uh, are within these walls of iper you will be part of this culture and i wish and i hope that you will enhance and augment this culture even further in times to come you will get the benefits uh, of this culture that you experience in these two years now uh, within these walls and outside these walls outside of these walls there is a lot of turmoil going on in the world uh, the world right now as i see is in a flux but thankfully india is shining right now as we speak there is a uh, you know convention going on g20 convention and it is a, a you know milestone for india and we can see the power of india uh, that it holds in the world now so this is a great and big opportunity for all of you as i can say that uh, you are in the right place at the right time for india being an indian so uh, this opens up a whole lot of industries domains for you anything uh, and everything is growing in india so whatever your interests and pursuits are you can easily do it there is growth in that and you can pursue that there are no restrictions for indians as of now uh but uh, coming to that i will like to give you three pointers uh, these are very basics very simple pointers i'm sure our guests will enlighten you more with uh, their wisdom and uh, their experiences but for me i'll just give you three basic pointers uh first is that you should know where you're going where you're heading uh, your, your your career path should be very clear to you if if it's clear it's well and good but not if not then uh, you know you can seek guidance from the faculties from your peers from your seniors but get it sorted out as soon as possible because the earlier you know where you're going where you're heading the better it is for you so uh, please explore that as soon as possible and uh, get it sorted out second would be you know we've all been hearing uh, it since our birth uh, that is hard work you need to put in the hours you need to put in the uh, the days the seconds and everything uh, you know uh, behind it to achieve any amount of excellence uh, there is a book by uh, malcolm gladwell uh, 10000 hours 
So he has actually put a number on uh, on the amount of hard work that you can do. But uh, notwithstanding that, uh, hard work is required. You cannot achieve anything without hard work. I cannot stress enough that it is needed. At some point of time, you have to do it. Either do it now or later. It has to come in at some point of time. So be clear about that. That you are here to put in the hard work, and you will get the results. If not now, in due course of time, but it will certainly be there. And third is uh, what MBA is all about. MBA is all about problem solving. As a management professional, you should be not afraid of problems because problems will come. But you should be able to, uh, you know, get the solutions, uh, get the desired results that you want. So you should have a problem solving mindset, and uh, uh, that is something that you will uh, benefit in IPER from that because that is what we do, that is what we excel in, that is what we try to teach the students. And I'm sure that if you are uh, regular and attentive and if you uh, are uh, capable enough, then you will definitely be able to be that individual and be, become an asset to the organization, any organization that you go with this mindset. But IPER is not uh, only about rigor and personal professional development. There are a whole lot of uh, activities, clubs, uh, you know, events, competitions that happen all year round that will make you a holistic individual. And that is very much required. And uh, as you go through your journey in IPER, you will experience a transformation. I, I wish that you experience a transformation because these are going to be the best and most transformative two years of your life. So all the very best uh, and welcome to all of you once again. Thank you.